One, two, three. Welcome What's up, to dude? the vlog. Oh, it's an e, babe. It's an e. You were down here. I need it up here next time. Um. That's the last time that I invite you into one of my beautiful singing intros that I do that me and the Kelsey love. I'm so help. you're welcome. I'm helping you. For letting help you. Me. Well, help I was you. actually doing the right. No. This is my vlog. Well, so you, you were, should have matched me. But you were down here. No, no, no. Right? So, 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 down so, so, so down here. Well, no, because, no, because I need you up here. No, you don't need me anywhere. I'm building, a, har I'm building a harmony in my head. Welcome to the vlog. I know you guys are wondering. You can see in the little crevice of the window that we are not in LA. And that <laughs> is true. <laughs> They know, they just know. That's true, we're in San Diego, Saint Diego. Anyway, we're in San Diego and we're happy to be here. We just spent the day with Sam and Nat, not the day, we spent like two hours with Sam and Nat. <laughs> we spent like a couple hours with Sam and Nat, which is very nice and Chili is there now and we are going to do something very super fun and exciting. And that is Comic-Con is coming to San Diego. Um, <laughs> Coming to San Diego? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. There's Comic Cons everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was the one. This is the one, though. You well, make it sound like it's like, like Harry Styles is coming to town. Well, isn't it traveling? No, Comic Con is San Diego. It's like this is the one. Well, remember that one we saw in Nashville? So we are in San Diego and Comic Con is not coming here. It is happening here and it happens in other places and it's happening here. <laughs> we got invited by Bose. Bose invited us because they're putting on this experience at Comic Con and it's for the show House of the Dragon. We don't really know what the experience is gonna be like, but I'm really excited to see it because I feel like it's gonna be really fun. That's what we're going to do right now and I'm very excited. That is what we're doing. We're pretty excited, so come along with us to see the experience. Okay, I have to be honest with you guys. One of my deepest, darkest fears. Are you saying something to me? Sorry, no. Just don't listen. What? Don't listen. I can't hear you. I'm gonna break up with Cody. I'm listening to armchair expert. I'm gonna break up with Cody. Jack Shepard. I'm gonna, really good I'm gonna pod. break up with Cody. I'm gonna Seriously. marry him and then divorce him. He's the, he's the husband of Kristen um, Bell. And I, he has no idea. And uh, he basically has like yeah. celebs so, on. And, that's the uh, tea. It's a really Okay, no, that was a joke, but I really do want to tell you guys something because I'm facing a fear right now. I'm terrified, terrified of human humans dressed as other humans. <laughs> so Comic-Con's like, probably the worst place Like, ever I don't like people dressed up in, like, really realistic costumes. It really scares me. Halloween scares me. Um, like, any primate scares me because they look so much like humans. So I'm facing my fears, and I'm actually terrified. But here we are. That? I'm hearing a lot of sound coming from there. Like dragon roars. Who's that? Who is That's that? That's you. This. Is this your first time seeing yourself? Well, I mean, outside of like a reflecting view. <laughs> what is going on with my beard? It's so bushy. Wonderful. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, relax, bro. It's my fiance, all right? Relax. So, first, before we went in, we met some super fun people, and this guy really did not like my outfit. He thought it was pretty lame, but then he, you know, decided to loosen up a little bit and do this fun little pose with me. But then we got to go inside, and when we went inside, Inside, there was like a bunch of really cool interactive stuff. There was this big dragon skull and then we got dragon eggs. And so we got to pick out an egg and basically like that was going to be our dragon. So then it was gonna hatch and then we were gonna get to raise our beautiful dragon child. And then obviously I had to really like work it and be hot as I naturally am in front of the fan while the um, most intense thing happened behind me a delivery of a dragon egg. Pretty insane stuff. All of this stuff was so cool and fun to see. Um, there was a cool throne that we got to sit on and it was just a great time. I loved it. Hello. My camera's on 1%, so never mind. We're eating bagels. We're on our way home from San Diego. How's your bagel? Pretty good. Is it good? Yeah. That is very good. 
I got a little veggie sandwich. Oh my god, what am I? It's a little spicy, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's been a few days since we went to San Diego. And now we're back home. I just got some coffee. I also had to get a new computer. So I had to get a new computer because yesterday mine just fully stopped working. Just stopped working. And then it just died and it never turned back on and it just completely died. So I had to order a new one. I didn't get a single thing done for work yesterday. Have you seen those like TikTok, like ASMR videos of people like unboxing their new Mac products? It's beautiful, wow, I'm very excited. Wow, that's beautiful. They've included so many more languages. That was fun. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use voiceover to set up your Mac. Oh my God, the keyboard. The keyboard. Okay, so the rest of this vlog is going to be me meal prepping. And it's gonna be kind of like a one giant dinner with Kelsey. How do we feel about that? Remember dinner with Kelsey? We haven't done one in so long. Well, it's not really like a dinner with Kelsey. It's more like a meal prep with Kelsey or like a breakfast, lunch, and dinner with Kelsey. Get your seatbelts out and strap in. Okay, I can already feel the excitement brewing from you guys. Okay, first things first, breakfast. Ah, shit. So, I'm making veggie egg cups. This girl, salt and sage nutrition, they came up on my TikTok. So, First thing that you're gonna do is cut your tomato. This chopper is a lifesaver, truly. Tomato is done, and I already have an onion cut from last night, so tomato and onion are both done. We're gonna crack some damn eggs. If the kitten starts to jump on here, I'm gonna have to take a quick brief pause and bring them into the office. You know what? We're doing, oh, yeah, we're doing a pause. I was so nervous the entire time that like an embryo was gonna come out of one of those. You guys have a lot of thoughts and feelings on these. I think they were just sent to us in a PR package, okay? I don't really know what to tell you, but I'm so sorry if I've offended you with my automatic salt and pepper shakers. Okay, those are seasoned. We're going to take a muffin tin. I really thought we had a muffin tin. Okay, I can see it in my mind. Did we not have a muffin tin? What the fuck? Well, shit. I fucking knew it. Not only do we have one, we have two. They were just, I didn't know where they were. So then we're gonna do one little bit of tomato in each one. And then a little bit of onion in each. And then a little bit of arugula. Wow, fit perfectly. Here they are before. Now we're gonna put them in. 375 for like 15 minutes. Okay, next up we're making broccoli salad. This is what you need for the actual salad. You need broccoli, chickpeas, dried cranberries, slivered almonds, green onions, and two bell peppers, some mint, and some parsley, but I don't really like parsley, so I don't think I'm gonna put it in there. Bell peppers, 
fries are done. Green onions are done. So she like food processed the broccoli. You know, this shit always seems like a good fucking idea. And then I just get a little lazy. Everything gets a little messy and it's just no longer fun, but that's okay. Cause it'll be worth it when I'm eating healthy. I'm trying to remind myself of that. Yes! This is awesome. The drawer that just broke and spilled everywhere as I was trying to get this stupid fucking food processor out. I'm so excited about this. It actually wouldn't be a dinner with Kelsey if we weren't using the food processor, sir, right? Processor, sir, 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 sir. Why did I say that? I feel like this is like the glitter of food. Like it's just gonna be everywhere. While I'm here, I'm gonna take my egg things out. There's the after on those, looking stunning. We're gonna leave our broccoli sitting here. I think this is enough. Who knows? Who cares? Okay, so we have the broccoli, the chickpeas. Now let's add the bell peppers and the green onion. Two thirds cup of slivered almonds. One fourth cup of dried cranberries. Ah, wow, I really wish I got that on film because I cut that so beautifully. But we have some mint. Look how beautiful that looks. For the dressing, we're gonna do two thirds cups of tahini. Two thirds. Next up, two and a half tablespoons soy sauce. One large lemon. Oh, good, seeds. What's the point of using this thing? What's the fucking point? Two large garlic cloves. Why is this soaking wet? That's weird, I haven't used this in a long time. Two tablespoons of maple syrup and water to thin it out and then, trigger warning. And whisk, but make sure you use the smallest bowl you possibly can. There we go. Let me try it. That's good. Oh, I forgot the mustard, right? Yeah, I didn't do the mustard. There we go. It's way better. That's so good now. Mmm. So good. Final product of the salad. It tastes really good. They're, they're not looking too good, I'm gonna be honest here. They're a little deflated. Why am I using my hands? Sorry, this is disgusting. I've just like reached my breaking point on the cooking. <laughs> this is so fucking gross. All right, here they are. They don't really look great, but we're gonna try one. There's not much going on in here. I think I overcooked them. There's nothing on the inside. I got... I think I got a little bit too worried about them not being cooked that I overcooked them and now they don't have anything on the inside. See, they're kind of just like flat. Oops. I think I fucked this one up. I'm gonna keep them though and see if Cody wants to try one. Whoopsie. At least the salad's good. I'm also gonna make the tempeh with my dad's tri-tip marinade that I showed you guys that one time. I'm gonna make that again. So that was like half a fail, 50-50. 50% great, 50% massive fail. I don't think a dinner with Kelsey has ever made me gag. Now I have so much shit to clean up, but I did just get a really exciting package and I'm gonna open it with you guys. When I was in Canada, I was on the hunt to find the best ketchup chip and I was with Cody's sister and her friend Carly, who's now my friend. And Carly was like, you have to try the Miss Vicky's ones and we couldn't find them anywhere. I really want to try those. So I ordered them and they just got here. The Miss Vicky's sweet and spicy ketchup chips. I don't know why we do not have ketchup chips in this country, but we're gonna try these together. Oh my God, they smell good. Oh wow. These are really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm. It's like a high quality chip, you know? They are a little bit like spicy. Ketchup chips are the greatest thing on this earth. Mm. Those are really fucking good. And that's that. This was fun. 
I'm glad we got to do like a little failed breakfast with Kelsey, successful lunch with Kelsey, successful ketchup chip with Kelsey. We haven't done a cooking, like a legit cooking together in a while. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And I love you and goodbye.